Hey creative people, you're watching Shiny Films and today I'm going to be showing you the best way to change the aspect ratio of your video in HitFilm Express. Today's video tutorial will be 1 out of 5 on the difficulty scale, it'll be super easy for beginners. And normally I'd say right now before we begin make sure to subscribe, but that seems to have worked because we've now reached 30,000 subscribers and I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed and who has been supporting the channel as well and uh, hopefully I'll get some more uploads done soon as well. So let's just jump on into the tutorial now. There's two ways to change your aspect ratio in HitFilm. The first way and the most basic way is letterboxing. Letterboxing is basically adding black bars on top of your footage, these black lines which simulate an aspect ratio. And the second way is to actually change the dimensions of your video so that it's a different dimension. Now that's the, probably the best way to do it because most of the time you will have all your video in the same aspect ratio and if you upload say a letterbox video to YouTube it won't play properly on widescreen monitors or in cinemas or whatever like that so it's best to have the best aspect ratio for your footage. My, now by default as you can see here all of my clips are in the normal 16 by 9 aspect ratio 1920 by 1080. We're going to be changing the aspect ratio of this comp in both ways. So let's start off with changing the aspect ratio of the actual film itself. This is good for most purposes, but if you want to, uh, for example, change aspect ratio midway through the film, like Christopher Nolan does in a lot of his movies, then you're going to want to use letterboxes. But for the most part, you're probably going to want to change the project settings like this. Let's just go into the project settings, and here we can see what project I've set up, a 1920 by 1080 comp and that has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Now I want to change this to be a most common cinematic aspect ratio 2.35 to 1. And so I'm actually just going to have to do some maths real quick. Because I'm going to make my footage smaller on the height, because it's a bit of a wider aspect ratio, the, the width needs to remain constant, right? The width needs to remain at 1920 uh, pixels. And so we're going to have to change the, the height to be that 2.35 to 1. And so the simple way to do that is to just put that in the calculator. You put your 1920, and because the width is 2.35 times the height, to get the height from the width, you just divide it by 2.35. Just hit equals, and you'll get your number here, 817. Just type that into the height, and just hit apply. And now you can see we've got a much wider aspect ratio at 2.35 to 1. And if we click on the video, we can see that uh, it's a little bit bigger than the actual background and we can move it around like so. So that's probably the best way to change the aspect ratio for most of your things. But if you don't want to do that, if you want to do the kind of Chris Nolan thing and you want to change your aspect ratio halfway through the movie or you want to just have it uh, as black bars anyway, then you can do that really simply using the letterbox effect. So if I just go and uh, reset that to be 1080 like so, and just hit apply, it'll go back to normal. And I'm just going to now search up for the letterbox effect. As you can see, I've already searched it up, but you can search up the letterbox effect, it's under generate, and you can just drag it on one of your clips, and it instantly creates that 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio with these black bars, which cover the rest of the video. You can change to a custom aspect ratio if you want here, uh, but this has a couple of downsides, and the first downside is it's only applied to the first clip, which might be what you want, but if you want to apply it to multiple clips, it gets pretty annoying. And the second thing is, unlike with the aspect ratio change we did before, we can't actually move the video up and down. Instead, the letterboxing and the video are kind of glued together. So the way to change that is to create a plane and put the letterbox on that plane. Let me just show you how we're going to do that. Just delete the letterbox effect, Go into the media panel and just hit new plane layer. Then you can rename this if you want. Make sure the width and height are the same as your timeline and just make sure the color, as you can click here, is white. Just hit OK and drag this on a new layer above your footage. You can even uh, rename this video track to be your letterbox because it's probably going to cover most of your video. Then you can just drag this over all the clips and apply the letterbox effect to this plane. You can change your settings as normal, and then in the clip properties, set the blend mode to be darken. This will make sure that this layer only darkens the layers below it, 
And since white doesn't darken anything, but black darkens everything, the white will be transparent, but the black will be completely solid. And we can even move around our clips below it now, like before. So that's the two best ways to change your aspect ratio in HitFilm Express. I hope you found this video useful or helpful. If you did, then be sure to leave a like, and of course, subscribe. If you want more HitFilm tutorials like this, I use most of, most of my tutorials are HitFilm Express tutorials. And of course, I do other kinds of tutorials and videos as well. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter at shiny underscore films if you want more constant updates about things that I can give here on YouTube. But with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Stay shiny.